Hello everybody and it is youth intake day today because of some corrupt footage from the little intro to the season that we normally do after 10 or 15 games we're actually 32 games into the season and it's youth intake day so let's go and have a quick roundup we're not going to do highlights I'll talk you through the season and then we'll go and look at our new recruits let's get into it okay so yes first thing to notice we are ninth in the table so not quite at the heights of last year where we were sort of hanging on for dear life to a playoff spot that ultimately ended in failure losing in the playoff final go check it out if you haven't seen the last episode but um yeah we're, we're in ninth it's not too bad 50 points from 32 games 14 wins 10 losses eight draws a goal difference of plus 13 so we are doing well in the goal scoring stakes and it's been relatively consistent if we you know we started very well dropped off and then it's all sort of been around 15th then we've slowly been climbing up uh, until now where we're just hit a little bit of a, a snag but generally we have been playing some decent football um we're getting some decent results in here as well if we have a look at them i mean some really high scoring games i said the season started well a 3-1 win over lugo a 4-1 win over malaga then we lost to hehan drew of elche and alcante lost to Vilcano. Drew with uh, Alaves, lost to Ibar 7-3 in, in a, a bonkers game where they scored two goals in the 90-plus minutes. Uh, Speeds of ERB 5-2 where Galago, who we'll get onto, is playing really well. Uh, lost to Tenerife, beat Burgos, lost to Albacete, beat Ponaferreira, beat Santander, uh, lost to Oviedo, beat to Cornella. Drew with Mercia, Drew of Mallorca, who are running away with the leagues. That was a really good result and really disappointing because we we're 4-3 up and in the 92nd minute they actually scored. After they brought it back, we were 4-1 up and they brought this one back to 4-2 in the 81st, 4-3 in the 87th and 4-all in the 92nd. So a bit disappointing with that one. Uh, Lieda 2-0. 2-0 up, uh, we won that one, lost to Karuna 1-0, who seemed to be a bit of a bogey team of ours, but beat Mirandes 5-1, got through the Spanish Cup first round against Roda 3-2, got through in the second round against Huesca 2-0, and uh, then lost to Real Sociedad 2-1. So no no real uh, harm in that, I think it's good to get to the third round, we got a lot of money from that game as well, which was good. Drew with Malaga, lost to Lugo 4-3 after getting a man sent off. But beat Elche, beat Gijon, beat Alicante on what was a really good run. In fact, February is really good for us. We lost to Valacano, but then beat Alaves and Ibar quite convincingly as well. March has been a little bit more of a struggle. 3-3 uh, struggle. Three, three against Sevilla, a loss 5-3 to Tenerife and a 2-2 draw with Burgos, where we scored in the 90th minute and I thought we'd won it with 10 men. And then in the 92nd minute, they went and got an equaliser, which was a little bit irritating. But it leaves us with 10 games to go in the season uh, in a season that again has been pretty good if we look at the finances we are still nearly a million in the positives it's going really well and this new board if you remember in the last episode i think i mentioned the board takeover went through this new board are investing as soon as we get money they are investing they have in check they have put two investments into our youth recruitment this year so we're now up to a 20 and our academy coaching is up to a 17 so they are well on board with doing everything for the youth team we do need to get our training facilities up but that normally takes a lot more money but it is all going up so I'm quite positive about this intake again because the youth recruitment and academy coaching should mean that players come through with a decent sort of level of hopefully current ability and potential ability so we will see but we're outperforming what we should be doing 21st media prediction we are currently ninth and it's going pretty well if we go back to the competition screen just before we go and look at the intake you'll see the spanish cup knocked out to real sociedad but abel galago who is a 17 year old who has made the breakthrough to the first team this year is looking very good his physical attributes meaning him putting in a lot of good performance he's actually had 29 appearances this year after eight in the first team last year he stepped up well 16 goals seven assists a 7.3 average rating he is looking like he could be very very useful one of our best best players of the season he's also in here for average rating um in the league as well goals is still constantino and oscar marino is leading the assists who's been coming in doing a good job 24 appearances for him seven goals eight assists so we've been going pretty well to be honest i mean the squad is 
We're making it a mid-table team. We're predicted to be finishing bottom of the year. We've got Alberto Suarez has now come in goal. Um, I didn't start him in goal. Uh, he's got 15 appearances, 27 conceded. We did start with Hulermo in goal. And Hulermo, he's not really... He's done all right, but he's not really redeemed himself. As you can see, he's not really performing any better than a now 16-year-old uh, Alberto Suarez. So I think for the rest of the season, 10 games to go, we're going to keep Suarez in net and give him game time, which should improve his attributes. Unless, of course, we go and get an amazing goalkeeper in our youth intake, which potentially could happen. You never know. But uh, yeah, at the moment, that's how it's going. In terms of appearances, 34 for Hogg and Const Constantino, 33 for Kazushi, 32 for Galago, 32 for Grimson Mori, 31 for Neeson, um, Tito Paleo's got 30, although I'm a little bit wary of Tito Paleo. He's definitely stopped progressing. Like, there's a few still going up, but overall, he's stopped progressing at the age of 23. Um, so, again, another right back would be very useful to bring in if possible in the youth intake. Uh, and then, yeah, a pretty consistent lineup is what we've had, but lots of different substitute appearances, lots of patrons getting runs out as well. And Mickey Reed has started. To just break into the first team. Three appearance, one assist, a 6.8. Um, I'm liking the look of this kid. Again, an under-21 international for England. So he's definitely going to be useful in the future. We just need to make sure that we're not rushing his development too much. But we'll keep an eye on him for sure. Um, one of the key players that's probably not playing as much this year. I think he had a lot of game time last year. Carlos Avono, uh, or the year before he got 12, then 3, then 1. We'll probably look to see if we can get any sort of money for him. The Equatorial Guinea International Under-20 International. But yeah, he came through looking pretty good, but again, just hasn't developed. And I think we need to focus our playtime on people that potentially can develop because that's what's going to get us going in the future. Um, L2 a little bit unlucky to miss out so much on the left wing this year, but it is basically Garrido, uh, not Garrido, um, Who's been playing on the left for us? It's uh, Gallego. There he is. Abel Gallego has sort of made that position his own. And he's doing a really good job. So at the moment, yeah, you're missing out a little bit. Loads of players out on loan as well. If we look at the transfers and then go to the development list. So we've got a few people here still trying to get some game time and get them out on loan. But yeah, lots of loans. The the de I'm really enjoying the development list this year. It's working really well. Um, and it's getting lots of people a lot of game time, which is very, very useful to be honest. Uh, I wanted to look at where it, is it in the director of football development? I oh, know it's in here, isn't it? It's in here in the new loans. That's development center loans. So yeah, you can see most of our loanees are getting a lot of football, which is good for their development. And a number of them are getting decent ratings above a sort of like 6.5. I think anything above 6.5 lets you go up. Like George Monday is a good one here. Continual improvement. Correa seeing Park Spark Movement. Adre Oliver improvement. Miguel Navarro at Roda, who we played in the Cup, getting good improvement in here as well. So it's good. The only one going down, Ramon Romero, really has a, a distinct drop-off, but doesn't look like anyone that's really going to make it at the club in the future. So not too worried about him. But generally, the, enjoying the development um, the development list and getting the director of football, which is obviously, of course, Andrew Burgess, to uh, getting that working. And he's doing a good job. Uh, Liam Hollick out there again as well. He is... Leaving on a free transfer, he's made the decision, which means we immediately sent him out on loan, trying to sell him. Um, I've got a feeling you're going to be a player that retires young and you're going to get a new regen in the game. But we'll, we'll track on every regen that we have in the save in the next episode at the end of this season. Because I realise I didn't do that that much at the end of last season. With the, the, the annoyance of losing the playoff final, I didn't really look and do a season review. So we'll definitely do one this year no matter where we finish but for now let's go and have a look at our intake okay um the new intake of youth players is here it's incredible again uh, lifted we're led by the very gifted dario rubio who is a holding midfielder in there which is nice but this again one two three four five six six elite talents one two three four five top talents one two three four good talents and one decent talent do we have Okay, we have a goalkeeper. Oh my god, he's a two-star goalkeeper already. Francisco Jimenez is already in here. 
Oh, I'm, ex oh, I'm excited. I'm excited again. This is such a good intake again. Right, striker, Daniel Herrera. Striker or left midfielder. Uh, again, brings with them a lot of physical attributes, which is good. Fairly professional, physical young striker. Finishing four on composure two is pretty rubbish. He looks like a sort of B-team level player, to be honest. But pace, fitness, balance, agility, acceleration, all looking pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, jumping reach of three, I'm not a big fan of that. Decisions, concentration, composure, bravery, anticipation, all really poor. Off the ball, two is not ideal for a striker, but he is the weakest of the lot. That is it. That is the only decent talent. Everybody else above him has a very strong chance of getting a contract which is phenomenal one star current ability three star potential alberto pasquale pascal uh, he is a left midfielder he has pace fitness agility acceleration all good things for a for a winger for sure strength one is a little bit uh worrisome five foot seven uh, aggression 13 leadership 12 determination 10 they're pretty all round good all round stats to be honest dribbling nine first touch eight passing six he's a balanced leader young winger 15 years old he comes in with a lot of pace a little bit inconsistent and he can't head the ball but generally there could be there could be a player in there there definitely could be a player next up georgi iliev midfield right one star current ability three star potential georgi iliev uh, is here as well he is a light-hearted technical young winger who brings with him pace 9, acceleration 8, agility 12, fitness 11, uh, 5 for 8, teamwork 18, work rate 13, flair 12, determination 9, um, and mental attributes. All the others are looking a little bit rubbish. Determination's good, aggression's good. But finishing 11, passing 12, technique 14, two-footed as well, which is really good. Um, I do like a two-footed player. He's looking okay as well, actually. I do quite like this. Works well within a team, lots of room to progress. Very inconsistent, so needs to work on that. Lacks game intelligence uh, and plenty of room to develop his anticipation skills, which is currently five. So, George Iliev. I'm not going to write any of these players off because this does look like a very, very good batch of players. Jose, midfield left. We are bringing through a lot of wide players. Uh, half a star current ability, two and a half star potential. Not expecting too much here, but he's a professional leader, which is good. Um, very strong right foot, reasonable left foot. Pace 12, acceleration 13, determination 13, leadership 12, technique 12, 5 for 8, crossing 10. It's not bad. Very consistent, a good personality. He's quick. He's not going to fit too well in terms of marking. And yeah, he needs to do a better job when marking, and that's about it. But you never know. He could potentially be a decent player for us to uh, to keep around and keep in the B team. Manuel Vaz, midfield right, half a star current ability, three star potential. Light-hearted, creative young winger, five foot nine, uh, balance ten, stamina eight. He lacks the physicals, I think, to ever really, really make it. But mentally, looks very good. Aggression thirteen, bravery ten, decisions eleven, determination fourteen, flair fourteen, teamwork ten, work rate thirteen. Not too bad. First touch twelve, technique fourteen. Uh, very strong right foot, reasonable left foot. Not too bad, Mr. Vaz. Manuel Vaz. I don't, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Lacking a bit of consistency. Can't head the ball. Uh, lots of room to grow. Good personality. Yeah, okay. Not bad at all. Right. on. Um, I mean, it's amazing, isn't it, to think we've only got five people out of this whole intake that are good or below. Uh, and then everybody else is a top talent. Oh, in terms of nationalities, we have an Ecuadorian Guinean again called Avono. We have Ecuadorian and uh, everybody else is Spanish, I think. Yes, they are. Right. Right back. I did say a new right back or new full backs would be useful. Tony Suarez, one star current ability, four star potential. Tony Suarez is a driven leader. He has a very strong right foot and a reasonable left foot. Pace 12, fitness 13, agility 13, acceleration 11, aggression 14, bravery 12, determination 18, work rate 13, teamwork 10, marking 9, tackling 8, crossing and dribbling is really poor. But he brings with him consistency, which is good. Um, he has, he's naturally fit. He's got a good personality. Uh, he's got a bit of a competitive streak, and he needs to work on his strength. But again, looks decent for 15. Good physicals, decent starting mentals, and the technicals can improve already, which is lovely stuff. Absolutely lovely. Right, on the opposite fullback, left back, Vicente. Because uh, I think it would be Vicente, not Vincent. It's definitely not Vincent, Dave, because there's no N after the I. Vicente, one star current ability, four and a half star potential at left back. Okay, all right. He's a balanced leader, young fullback, very strong left foot, reasonable right foot, 
Tackling 14, crossing 11, decisions 13, determination 11, work rate 13, fitness 12, balance 12. A lot, he needs a bit of work on his physicals. I mean, sevens and eights and nines isn't too bad. Mentals are sort of all around the same as well, other than vision, off the ball and flair, which are pretty low, and composure. They're all low. Uh, technically, he has some room to improve, but sevens and eights isn't dreadful for someone that has good potential. Uh, but again, lots of positives. Can Good timing in the challenge is his strongest attribute, but needs to be a bit more consistent and work on his strength. So overall, not looking too bad at the moment this is i say not looking too bad it's an amazing intake so far um center back alejandro Ala alejandro Ala alejandro uh one star current ability three and a half star potential alejandro is a six foot spirited physical young center back he has a uh, pace fitness agility and acceleration all 12 and above jumping reaches a bit low strength stamina and balance all need improving but he's aggressive he's brave he's got good work rate good technique uh, tackling, marking, and heading sixes and sevens. Again, it's a good start. It's a, probably a little bit disappointing. Not going to go straight into the sort of first team squad, but he's got room to grow. Uh, in terms of good stuff, good personality, good aggression and teamwork, uh, loads of room to grow. He needs to work on his aerial chat ability. Yeah, that's true. What's this one? Uh, lack of composure hinders any skill element to the game. Okay. Uh, needs to be a bit more consistent, and he's a little bit injury-prone with a competitive streak. But I don't mind Alejandro. Not too bad. Probably one of the weakest we've looked at so far. Now, on to our equatorial Guinean. Uh, midfield centre. Wants to be a Mazala, so it would suit our other system quite well. One-star current ability, four-star potential. Antonio Avono is a light-hearted leader of a young midfielder, which is good. 5 foot 10, natural fitness 16, acceleration 14, pace 10, aggression 15, bravery 13, determination 17, uh, technique 13 as well. Love that determination. That is awesome. Playing as a central midfielder isn't necessarily a bad thing. He and an attacking midfield, we use both of those positions. Um, needs to work technically and mentally on some attributes. Probably all round needs a bit. Of, he's very similar to the Avono we've already got, to be honest, but... We'll see how he develops. Um, he is a little bit inconsistent. Uh, his dribbling isn't very good. And he needs to do a better job when it comes to marking. But he has a very good fitness, lots of room to grow, a good personality, uh, a fair amount of pace, and is a little bit versatile as well. So all in all, pretty good, to be honest. I do, oh yeah, I like I, I like the look of this intake to understate things. Uh, one star current ability, three and a half star potential is Christian Cuones, I think that would be. Centre back or anywhere up the midfield, uh, in the central midfield. He is Ecuadorian and Spanish. Six foot two, jumping reach 13, balance 14, fitness 13. Very strong right foot, reasonable left foot. Aggression 13, bravery 18, determination 17, positioning 13, tackling 11. Uh, heading and marking are a little bit low. Work rate's low, teamwork's low, leadership's really low for a centre-back. Uh, leadership does help in controlling the defensive line, apparently. Um, but yeah, some, old, some okay attributes. I mean, centre-back, he needs to be a bit more physical and mentally prepared, but not too bad. A little bit inconsistent. Um, he's a slow player. And his lack of team ethic can place an extra burden on his teammates, which is probably the biggest concern. I would have with uh, Christian Cuanes. But again, not too bad. Into then the elite talents. We will leave Dario Urubio to last as he is the very gifted player. But first up, holding midfield, Pablo Sola, one and a half star current ability, five star potential. Pablo Sola is a holding midfielder who's fairly ambitious, intelligent. He's five foot five, so very small around the sort of Javi. In the Esther mold. Uh, he's fairly strong left footed, very strong right footed, which is good. Two footed is always welcome. Uh, crossing is good. Free kick taking, passing, technique, vision, decisions, determination, composure, bravery. He's a 100% a playmaker, which is awesome. Uh, natural fitness is good. And then to be fair, his physicals are 7, 8, 9, 7, 11, 9, 7, 5, which is very good. It's a good base to have them that spread out. Aggression. Uh, mentals are 8, 10, 17, 11, 10, 14, 11, 5, 7, 8, 10, 7, 13, 8. Again, not a bad spread. Uh, and technicals will naturally improve with game time and, and training and stuff like that. So all in all, Pablo Solar looks very, very good. A good start to the elite intakes. Next up, hold, another holding midfielder. In fact, we've got one, two, three holding midfielders in elites. Marco Antonio Inglesias. One and a half star current ability. Four and a half star potential. Um, a 5 foot 11 holding midfielder who's fairly professional and a bit of a leader, which is good. 
Uh, natural Fitness 11, Jump and Reach 12, Balance 14, Anticipation 11, Decisions 11, Leadership 12, Teamwork 15, Technique 14, First Touch 12, Passing 10. Yeah, he looks like he could be very, very good. And he's got no inconsistency or injury problems either. Again, get the rest of those physicals up, get those mentals up a little bit more, and the technicals will come. He could be very good. Fairly strong left foot, very strong right foot. Yeah. Yes, please. I like Marco Antonio Inglesias. That is good. Jesus Navaretti, central midfielder or centre midfield. One star currently, five star potential. Jesus Navaretti is a driven physical young midfielder at six foot two. He's got balance 11, jumping reach 15, fitness 16, uh, acceleration, agility, pace, stamina, and strength are seven or above. It's seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, if anyone's keeping track just by using my voice. Uh, mentals are a little like they look a little bit weak but he's very brave and very determined which means you know i'm hoping he'd train well a strong left foot very strong right foot technicals are a little bit weak but tackling and technique are both up there in yellow as well so probably it's like a ball winner who would be very good or could be very good or maybe uh, just a normal sort of center back does lack a bit of pace and consistency and vision uh, can't see the full picture but at 16 years old, lots of room to grow, which is excellent for Jesus Navaretti. Uh, Pascal Labo Labodetta. Labodetta? I think it would be La Labodetta. Um, it's a bit Italian, I'm saying that, but we'll see. Right back or centre back, one and a half star current ability, five star potential. Uh, Pascal Labodetta is an unambitious technical young centre back. He's five for 11, uh, jumping reach 10, balance 14. Uh, sevens, yeah, six is the lowest in physicals with strength, and then it's sevens, eights, ten, and fourteen. Mentally, aggression, sixteen, decisions, ten, leadership, ten, positioning, thirteen, marking, thirteen, tackling, fifteen, crossing, twelve. Could be very good. He could really grow, but he needs to get that determination up. He is inconsistent, and he has a competitive streak, but he is very good in the tackle with that tackling, fifteen. Very strong right foot, reasonable left foot, so not as two footed as some of the other players coming in, but not bad at all to be honest right the goalkeeper a two star current ability goalkeeper five star potential francisco jimenez looks pretty good professional shot stopping young goalkeeper i like the sound of all of that he's five foot nine Ugh, he's five foot nine with a jumping reach of eight so it's not brilliant for a goalkeeper um, his first touch is also one, which is pretty dreadful, and his handling is seven. Um, but lots of room to grow. Good agility, which I think is crucial for goalkeepers this year. Um, Reflex is 11, and good agility is generally pretty good. Uh, positioning, teamwork, vision, work rate, all really good. Deter he's determined, he's got good decisions, he's brave. Concentration is good as well for a youngster at 10 already. Yeah, he's going to be really good. Uh, just need to work on that consistency. But he's got, what's he got? Organising his defence is his strongest attribute. Lots of room for growing a good personality. I do like the look of Francisco Jimenez. And I do feel like he could push to be our starting goalkeeper for the last 10 games of the season. We'll have to, uh, we'll have, to have a look. Not that the other guy's been doing too bad. And then we go to the very gifted Dario Rubio. Holding midfielder or midfield centre. Two star current ability, five star potential. Dario Rubio is a fairly professional technical young midfielder who looks... Very good. <laughs> Fairly strong left foot, very strong right foot. 5 foot 11, jumping reach 11, balance 14, fitness 13, and then it's 7s for pace and stamina, 8 for agility, and 9 for strength and acceleration, which is incredible at 15. Mentally, he's got aggression 10, anticipation 13, bravery 11, composure 9, concentration 8, decisions 12, determination 13, flair 5, leadership 1, off the ball 6, positioning 10, teamwork 16, vision 7, and work rate 11. So some very good mental attributes as well for a 15-year-old. Uh, and technically, he's got an amazing first touch. He's good at marking and tackling and good with technique generally. I like that. He looks very, very, very good. Fairly professional as well, which is awesome. Uh, very inconsistent, needs to work on his heading. But in terms of good stuff, works well in the team. Lots of room to grow, good personality. A committed player and versatile as well. That is an absolutely phenomenal intake. Again, it is awesome. Let me know down below who you think your favourite one of those is, or who do you think, both, who's your favourite right now as they stand, but who do you think is going to have the biggest impact going forward in this save? For me, it's probably going to be my favourite 
is probably Dario Rubio with the goalkeeper actually being one that makes the most impact because having a elite goalkeeper who's two star already coming through at the age of like I think he was 15 right yeah 15 that's what potentially 20 years of goalkeeper that you could have and that is crucial in a youth academy only save and I'm very very excited so 10 games to go in this season let me know who your favorite youth intake player was let me know who's going to be the biggest impact on the save are any of them going to have a big impact on the save and we'll be back to wrap up season seven um in uh, in the very near future after we play Mirandes and then we'll do our end of season review if we've managed to sneak into the playoffs we'll come back for a playoff final uh, for the playoffs again depending how they go but uh, yeah also let me know do you prefer it like this we could go to whilst we're just in the second division still we could go to two episodes a season and just miss the start and come back for youth intake and then do the end of season review and then youth intake and end of season review let me know your thoughts down below for now i'm out i'll catch you in the next one please subscribe and like it if you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one cheers